Y'all seen that story? Some nigga in Walmart? Walmart, Andre Bing or some shit like that? They said that nigga came, came into Walmart with a crumpled up note. Talking about, yo, he had all his ops on the note. And called him into a meeting and to start going crazy. He was clearly psychotic. <laughs> Why this nigga just look mad? Bro, I'm going to keep it up being with you. You know who we got to blame? You know who we got to blame for this? The Virginia DMV. If a D if you a DMV and taking a picture for a nigga license, you know how niggas is lit on license day? License day? Oh, you about to get your license? Hey! Yo, taking a picture? You smiling? Nigga, you see all 32s. If a nigga taking a picture like this for his license, for his DL, bruh, 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 yo, why you so, nigga, you ever see a nigga this mad he get his license? Nigga, I, hold on, I gotta find my, my, my original license picture. Nigga, I'm cheesing like, <laughs> some niggas is cheesing like, I just finessed y'all, I really don't know how to drive. <laughs> niggas is just like, yo, I'm about to go wallet, I'm about to drive my mama car. Real niggas be like, oh shit, my bitch got a car, now I can finally drive it. This nigga look this mad on a license picture? This shit look like a mugshot. Oh, nah. Somebody in the DMV should be like, bruh, why he look like this? Nah, we not giving the license today. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This nigga look like he was mad for years. Nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Why does he look this mad? Somebody said, who cheesing on their license? Alright, so y'all just trying to be too tough now. Bro, if y'all tell me y'all look like this on your license, bro, bro, this look like beyond a mugshot, my nigga. This look like a nigga just caught like three felonies, my nigga. Like, let's stop fucking playing. This look like, yo, you just you just popped a bean or like you just took some henny and you just did some real dumb shit, niggas caught you, or a nigga snitched on you, and you really finna do a bid, my nigga. This don't look like no nigga who about to get his license that he could drive cars, bro. Stop it, bro. Y'all niggas gotta stop being too tough in my chat. Fuck out of here. This nigga look too mad. This photo is provided by the Virginia DMV. Nigga, what? Why he so mad? Red flag. You know what I realized? Because I've dealt with some crazy bitches. And also some crazy niggas, too. You, after you've dealt with enough crazy people, you realize it's almost your fault. Because you need to start figuring out where the crazy coming from. And when you could see certain signs, why this nigga look like he already trying to kill a nigga in this license picture? What do you think he finna do? Let me, let me watch this. Officials in Chesapeake VA confirmed in a statement that, oh, he was a Walmart supervisor? Who fatally shot six co-workers inside the store, left a note in his phone, which he described being harassed. He says, sorry, everyone, but I didn't plan this. I promise. Things just fell into place like I was led by the Satan. Nah, he was led by Satan when he took this picture. Bro, this is a satanic picture, bro. This thing was led by Satan all his life, bro. Fuck what he talking about. By the way, I don't support harassment. And I, un like, no, no, I would never understand somebody taking a bunch of people's lives. Even if you got the most, like, I get bullied a lot, bro. Like, some shit like that, that's just like, come on, bro. But, but still, you know, I could never understand that. But, like, sometimes you do feel a little bit of pity for what somebody was going through. But, like, bro, when you start saying you were, it fell in a place like you were Satan, bro, like you mentally ill nigga, bro. Andre Bing. I ain't gonna lie, when I seen this picture, I was just praying to God he wasn't Jamaican. Because he got that Jamaican, like, death stare on him. I ain't gonna lie to you. Andre Bing. Like, what type of name is that? Wrote in a letter titled Death Note that was stored on his phone. My only wish would have been to start over from scratch and then my parents would have paid closer attention to my social deficits. Wow. Police confirmed he used a 9mm handgun which was legally purchased the morning of the shooting. A box of ammunition and a receipt for the gun was discovered when they searched his home. The note 
which authorities redacted in several places to protect the names of specific people, described how Bing lost his dignity when he believed his phone was hacked. I was harassed by idiots with low intelligence and lack of wisdom. He wrote, the associates gave me evil, twisted grins, mocked me and celebrated my downfall the last day. He was found dead inside the break room from what police said was a self-inflicted gun gunshot wound. He had no criminal history and was dressed in civilian clothing with no body armor. They said he was an employee with the company. Damn, that's 20 year, uh, 10 years since 2010. His position at the time was a overall team lead. Oh, he was still there. His violence was... Uh, wow. They've identified the victims. Wow. A 30-year-old person, 52... 43, 70, 16, 22. Wow. Um, they said all the victims work for the company. Another four people were hospitalized in a shooting. Um, you know, fuck this nigga regardless. You know, I, like, I can't sympathize. I know I, I read the reasons why you're saying it, but I still can't sympathize with him because taking a life is really crazy. Um... But I'm going to be honest with you. Like, you know, I think we all have to be a little bit mindful. I remember being in college and there was this one kid. There was this one kid, right? <clears throat> there was this one kid that everybody used to get on type shit. And, it, it, like, it, if you ever watched the boxing video that I did, the nigga who I was boxing type shit, he lived right next to me. Real talk. He lived right next to me. One day, I kind of go into his room and I ain't going to hold you. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, it was, like, weird. Like, I'll go into his room because, like, like my other mans who was really cool with him were cool with me, lived in his room, his roommates. And he was all right. But, you know, he he was on some different type of time. He was on some Chinese shit. Like, you know, one of the white niggas who were obsessed with Chinese shit, whatever. So I go in there one time, and I remember just hearing, like, ugh. And then the computer was on. He was sitting in front of the computer, and, like, I heard some shit and I looked I'm like, what the fuck? And it looked like, I'm going to keep it a being with you. It looked like he might have been watching some like Asian gay porn. I kid you not. Now, granted, you know, I, I said, I'm like, what the fuck was you doing, nigga? Now, he was like, nah, it was like, like he was trying to explain it at the end of the day. He was like, nah, it was, it was really, he said, um, he said, no, I, like I was watching an Asian movie and they had a gay scene. And I'm like, bro, that, 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 I ain't going to hold you. That felt like porn, bro. And, like, somebody else had, like, another story about him like that. I'm going to keep it a bean. And I'm going to keep it 100 with you. We kind of start clowning the nigga like, yeah, bro, we know you gay type shit. That's another reason when we were going down. I'm like, this nigga not about to be. My big act, nigga. Like, you think a nigga watching gay porn about to be my ass? Come on now. Like, no, no, no disrespect, but that's what it is. Right? So, anyway, we were kind of clowning him a little bit. I was getting on it, too, because we were like, yo, bro, we caught you watching gay porn. Not, not trying whatever, but it was just, like. And I'm gonna keep it up being with you. Like, you know, you know what you do in high school or like was college, college jokes. Like, I felt it was a a while, there was a time that it, it like that was one joke, but everybody else was piling on. And I could tell, like, he stopped fucking with everybody. Like, he just started going into a shell. Like, he just stopped really. Like, we'd be out in like the little lobby area. He wouldn't even come out. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not saying I thought he was at that point of, like, doing some dumb shit, like, whatever, whatever. But all I'm saying is harassing and bullying, sometimes we have fun at people's expense. And I remember, I, like, nigga, I made sure I was just like, yo, bro, like, you know, like, nigga, even if you was gay, like, I don't even give a fuck. But also, you do know, like, when we joking on you, like, you should joke back on us. Like, you not no butter no joke. Like, you not no nigga who we all just fuck, like, just get a joke off on it. So, like, I remember telling him, I'm like, yo, bro, you really got that nigga down there, like, joking on you? That nigga, like, blah, blah. So, it's, like, kind of, like, encourage him a little bit. But I only tell you that story because, like, I, I started feeling the energy. I live right next to the nigga. I started feeling the energy. Like, you know, at times, people will joke on one nigga or bully one nigga. And, bro, you really don't know when that line is crossed. Like, a nigga, like, I don't know, this nigga, I'm not giving him no pass for what he did. But, but, but some of these people, bro, they they bro, they bro, might go home one day and be like, yo, bro, like, I really got nothing left. 
And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you another thing about the dude. There was some other situation that happened, and I saw him crying. And bro, like you, I felt like shit. I'm like, yo, damn. He was crying about some other shit. Like this wasn't inclusive. They wasn't include him in certain shit. And I'm like, yo. And I remember like trying to encourage him, like, yo, bro. You know, like we all freshmen here. Like, I was a freshman. I'm like, bro, we all freshmen here, bro. I'm like, yo, bro, you gotta get back on their ass, bro. Like, so I'm teaching him. I'm trying to help him with shit, but it's like I'm trying to really boost his ego because I'm like. Bro, nobody wants to be just joked on and clowned all day. Bro, you're going to feel at a certain point and be like, bro, ain't nobody love me anyway, nigga. Fuck this. I'm about to just do some crazy shit. So, you know what I mean? Um, I guess I only tell y'all that story because there's probably somebody in y'all life, right? There's probably somebody in, in, in y'all life that maybe everybody, there's always somebody that everybody sees as an easy joke. That's what I'm trying to say. It's always somebody everybody sees as an easy joke. I just know with me, nigga, I'll clown a nigga for a while, but it's like, bro, I don't like clowning people who ain't fighting back type shit, you know what I mean? So, like, that's why I was trying to encourage your homie, like, bro, like, nigga, I got, I'm going to tell you how to really roast these motherfuckers, but, you know, not that that's an excuse for anything like, anything like this to happen, but, you know, you, you got to feel bad a little bit on both sides, even though we obviously condemn any type of violence and killing and shit like that. You know, bullying is a thing, bro. You feel me? Like, I know we clowning this nigga right now, but maybe he had this look on his face because niggas was always getting at him. Nigga, who knows? Nigga, he could be short. He could have a bald spot. Nigga, who knows? Nigga, he could have been broke. He could have been whatever, bro. You know what I mean? He been having this on his mind. You know, for him, he's like, yo, he'd rather just go take his revenge out and just, like, leave whatever, leave the earth or whatever. But, um, you know, sometimes you got to have that type of... um. You know, I I've been I've been the person who's been bullied and I've been the person who like, you know, maybe everybody was fucking with me and maybe I was contributing to the bully bullying and it, it is, was always important for me to realize like, yo, remember how you felt and remember like, yo, there was moments that you didn't want to go to school or you didn't like bullying is a real thing, bro. That's all I'm trying to tell you, bro. Bullying is somebody said there's a video of him talking to his co-workers? Really? Andre Bing. Talk to co-workers. Is, is it a real video? Oh, hold on. Let me see. So I was just getting to my shift. Um, I worked the overnight shift from 10 to 7. So I was just getting to my shift. Uh, I walked to the back of the break room. We have our nightly meeting of where everyone's going to be placed and where they're going to be working at because we're on the stocking team. So it's just to figure out, you know, exactly where you're going to be at. And basically, as soon as my team lead started the meeting, my manager came around the corner, stood in the doorway of the break room and just opened fire and just started swinging his arm from left to right. There was, it looked like there was no uh, direct target. He was just shooting any and everybody that he could pretty much. Wow. When it first happened, it felt like, um, it was like a drill type of situation. Like I was like, oh, okay, this is like a, what if we have an active shooter type of situation? But then once I realized that I saw blood, I was like, oh, this is real. And it's just all I kept, I have a son, I have a four year old child. So all I kept thinking was, make it home, make it home, make it home, make it home. So as I'm running through the store, I'm just like, don't trip, don't fall, don't look back. Don't trip, don't fall, don't look back. Because I know if any of those things happen, more than likely, I'm, yeah. And the fact that he looked directly at me while he was shooting, it just terrified me even more because I felt like I was, I, I got lucky. I truly, truly did. I felt like I got lucky. I literally was just standing up against the wall and like I heard the shots, I, I saw the, the the smoke leave the gun. Like I'm literally looking directly at him as he's just moving his arm around. And in that moment, like there wasn't a crazy look in his eyes. He didn't look any differently than he normally does. He literally just looked at me, shot towards me, and then just moved on to the next. It was like it didn't even phase him that he missed. But he he literally was like inches away from my head. I don't even know if it was inches. It may have been an inch from my head. But yeah, it he he just looked at me and I looked at him and I was still just standing there just in shock. And then I guess once he wait, the dude was trying to kill her. Holy shit.
Somebody said, if this real? Ty Track, of course it's real. Some dude, he was like a, like, he was a manager or like some type of supervisor. I guess he just had some issues with like this coworkers that like he showed up one day with a weapon and they they had a meeting and he fucking had a list of people he wanted to kill and he tried to kill all of them. And apparently he killed six other people, but then he killed himself. Jesus Christ. Somebody said he was trying to get everybody? I thought, somebody told me it was like he was only trying to kill the people he didn't like. Like, he was trying to spare people. He felt like he was done in the break room. He just walked away and just kept shooting in the in the main part of the store. Wow. Oh, this is the, 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 the um, 911 call? 402, 1521 Sam Circle at the Walmart for a gunshot wound. Just after 10 o'clock Tuesday night, the first 911 calls came from inside this Chesapeake, Virginia Walmart. By 11.20 p.m., police declared the scene safe with no risk to the general public. But inside, carnage. Six victims have died. Four victims are in area hospitals with conditions unknown at this time. And the suspect is dead from what we believe was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Police confirming the shooter was an employee of the store. Witnesses say the man was a store manager who opened fire in a break room. Brianna Tyler was in that room getting ready for her shift. And basically, as soon as my team lead started the meeting, my manager came around the corner, stood in the doorway. Bent, we're working closely with law. Yo, that's crazy. Jeez. <coughs> so I was just getting... My prayers goes goes out to everybody affected, you know. One of those situations. Somebody said there's a video of the... Uh, if it's a video before he tries to shoot them, I don't want to watch it. But if it's like another previous video before the shit, I, I'll watch it. But Fuck. Am I... Oh, I'm frozen? Bro, how am I lagging? Am I lagging? God damn. I might have been lagging. I, I apologize if I am. If, if y'all could hear me, just like spam one. Spam one if you hear me. Bro, I, I can see my, my connection is like wacky right now, bro. Fuck. Spam one if you could um hear me. There's an old video of him on TikTok. Let me see. Andre Bing TikTok. Let me go to Google or YouTube. Andre Bing TikTok. 